सो प्लीज एक्सप्लेन हाउ मसल स्पिंडल इनिशिएट मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ओके right so you want to understand about the muscles spindles, spindles right how they cause the muscle contraction. muscle contraction to understand this we have to take a muscle let's take bicep muscle right yes so this is your bicep muscle here so this is tendinous area right yes, yes sir and this bicep muscle has thousands of extra fusion fibers extra fusion fusion fibers. fibers right contractile fibers so they are connected via tendon so this is extra fusion fiber fiber right yeah. and this extra fusion fiber how connected muscle spindles link so so these are muscle spindles muscle spindles right also known as intrafusal fiber intra fusal fibers right so they are connected to extra fusal fibers. fibers now firstly understand when muscle will get contract once they receive acetyl choline right yes. so acetyl choline will come via motor neuron at the neuromuscular junction so suppose this is your neuromuscular junction where acetylcholine is arriving via alpha motor neuron alpha motor neuron neuron so let's take a cut section of spinal cord right this is anterior horn cell right yes so anterior horn cells via anterior horn cells we are receiving alpha motor neuron which brings action potentials at the neuromuscular junction right and in the form of acetylcholine acetyl choline we receive neurotransmitters or we can say contractile information to cause muscle contraction right what is acetyl choline acetyl is coming from acetyl choline and choline is vitamin like nutrient which is uh, present in eggs also okay that is covered in nutrition course and this acetylcholine is formed by b6 okay that's not our topic today let's understand first how muscle spindles initiate muscle contraction. contraction so as i mentioned to contract the muscle we require acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction, junction. neuro muscular junction. Junction. junction where the neuron meets the muscle is called neuromuscular junction, junction right okay now about muscle spindles muscle spindles also receive acetylcholine acetyl choline choline but this is not alpha motor neuron this is gamma motor neuron neuron gamma motor neuron right once there is a stimulus to the muscle spindle intrafusal fiber it will release 
acetylcholine to the muscle spindle and this muscle spindle will take the information to spinal cord right yes. so this will take information to the spinal cord via 1a fiber via Fiber. And this will go up as a proprioceptive information, as a proprioceptive information, information to the central nervous system, to the central, central nervous, nervous system. system, right? And we will come back and relay contractile information via interneuron, via interneuron. And now once alpha motor neuron is receiving action potential, this will release acetylcholine for all extrafusal fibers and muscle will contract. So, as I mentioned, muscle spindles are receiving information via gamma, gamma motor neuron. neuron. When when they get stimulus, right, they will release acetylcholine. Alpha motor neuron also will release acetylcholine, but this acetylcholine is not enough. To contract whole muscle, so it has to send a signal via one a fiber to the spinal cord. Spinal cord will send proprioceptive information to the central nervous system and back via interneuron to the alpha motor neuron. And alpha motor neuron will bring action potentials. And at the neuromuscular junction, there will be release of acetylcholine, and the whole muscle, all extrafusal fibers will get contracted. Right? I hope I have simplified this. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you.